Now calling case number 23T00306. This is Ypsilanti Township versus Bruce Alexander Pickens. Appearances for the record, please. Assistant Public Defender Sonia Chenault on behalf of Mr. Pickens. Mr. Pickens, please state your full name for the record. Bruce Alexander Pickens. So today is the date and time set for an arraignment in this matter. What I am seeing is that a bench warrant issued uh, for your arrest last year on June 9th, 2023, for your failure to comply with a community corrections order. So you have a community corrections bond violation in here. Uh, it appears this is dated June 5th, 2023. It appears that you never reported to community corrections at all. So, uh, and I will note that in the interim, it appears that uh, you were just arraigned over the weekend. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we don't have to get into that right now, but you were arraigned on the weekend on a new charge presumably with the same uh alleged victim from this case so attorney chanel thank you your honor we stand muted to the charges and regarding bond i did have the opportunity to speak with my client regarding this matter my client is 41 years old he is gainfully employed at michael's hobbies and crafts store i did discuss the bond conditions with him i do believe he will comply going forward and appear for subsequent court hearings. Therefore, we are asking for a personal bond or in the alternative, a low cash bond. Thank you. Okay, at this time, the court will set the bond violation hearing and pretrial date June 12th, 2024. That will be at 10 a.m. over Zoom before Judge Washington. Well, I guess it's safe to say I don't have a job anymore. That's not my problem right now. The bond conditions were already renewed, so all of the bond conditions are being continued. And at this time, the court will set bond in the amount of $50,000. 10% is allowed. <laughs> oh, God. You don't take money, girls on trees, huh? <laughs> Seriously. We wonder why people don't keep jobs. So uh, this hearing <laughs> is concluded. You are free to stand up and tell the jail that you are finished. If anything, it's kind of your fault that Hey, what? What'd you say? I said that you're free to stand up until the jail that you are finished. Ah, I was going to do it anyway. Now I get to have some fucking fun in this jail. Yes. Okay. Okay, sure. Ah, Janissa Salazar. Yes. Court is calling 2024 CR 3821, State of Texas versus Janessa Lynette Salazar. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Defense. Greg Day 
And are you Ms. Salazar? Mm -hmm. Counsel, have you received all the discovery? Did you review it with your client? I did, and I have, Judge. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Salazar, did you review the document entitled uh, True Bill of Indictment with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am, I did. Counsel, did you waive the reading of the indictment? We do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. Did you review the document entitled Application for Community Supervision uh, with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it? Same. Did you review the document entitled Court Admonishments with your attorney? Did you understand it? Same. And did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Same. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of theft under $2,500 enhanced? Same. That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Did you understand by entering this plea you were giving up those rights? And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Mm -hmm. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, ma'am. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? I believe she does, Judge. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? I do, Judge. Ms. Salazar, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? Mm -hmm. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Absolutely, yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her rights to jury trial. Did you review the plea bargain page with your attorney? Did you understand it? I did, yes, ma'am. Excuse me. All right. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at two years in the state jail facility. There is a $1,500 fine. State recommends community supervision. Uh, they're taking in consideration cause number. 729758. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, Defense? Yes, ma'am. State? Yes, ma Did you review the waiver of appeal paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Mm -hmm. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counselor, are there been any such motions? No, you're Outside the agreement, the state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of two years. There be a top evaluation, 180 hours community service restitution, and no contact with Walmart. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Mm -hmm. Then to the offense as charged, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Mm -hmm. State any evidence? No objections, Your Honor. All right, state, you may continue to confer. Did you review the document entitled Waiver and Consent to Stipulation of You keep stealing. Disability. Uh, she has a mother. There. At review in state's exhibits one in attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Do my client judge is on disability. Uh, she has a mother. There's very humble in this case. Uh, nothing that she has even tried to minimize or she understands her role in this. And, she wants to complete her probation successfully. All right. What are you on disability for? My back and I had surgery and for mental. I have back and 
Exactly. Yes, yeah, exactly. Good question. All right. Why do you keep stealing? Um, there was any reason for it. I didn't have the money. I'm sorry. What? I didn't have the money, and I shouldn't have done it. Um, a Halloween outfit, my son. Okay, so I don't. I There's can't no understand what you're saying. There's no reason at all. No reason. All right. So why? If there's no reason whatsoever, then why are you stealing? I don't have a good answer. There's no good reason for it at all. I mean, well, there has to be a reason because you had to. I looked at the items and the items are not all in one location. So you have to walk around Walmart. Yeah. And I think everybody may be familiar with the layout of Walmart. Yeah. Crayons are not on the same aisle as eyeliner. Yeah. Eyeliner is usually in the... Um, health and beauty department. So I'm trying to figure out why are you stealing? And this is not the first time. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's going on with you that you feel the need to take what does not belong to you? I didn't have the money. So why is it when you don't have the money, your go-to is let me steal it. And it's not even a stealing of food eyeliner. What does that have to do with anything? That would come it was one of the items but I'm sorry. But, uh, right. And then there's a theft of taking of glitter. That was for the Halloween outfit. All right. Well, it doesn't, I'm, I, I'm sorry. Um, and how old is your, your children? My son is four. Four? Yes, ma'am. All right. So four-year-old is not going to know if they don't go to Halloween or not. Correct. Right. And go trick-or-treating from door to door. But I think a four-year-old will know if their mom is not home because she's at the prison for stealing. And then who are the nails for? I, I don't, I guess maybe for myself. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly, but I don't remember those items. I thought I was on it. Do you remember any of the items that you took? Um, I don't remember exactly, but I believe that they were, there was um, makeup for my son's outfit, which was a wolf outfit. And, uh, to be honest with you, I don't. It was, what does the glitter come in on a wolf outfit? Uh, that's what I'm, I don't recall that. Unless it's Twilight. Twi twilight is actually no. No, Twilight is the <laughs> no. Twilight is the vampires where they added some sort of glitter yeah. that is not in any of the vampire lore that I've ever read. Yes, but I'm only. I'm thinking maybe that was the name on the packaging for that because it was face paint mm -hmm. for his outfit. I'm a werewolf. Oh. All right. So how are you? Who all lives in the house with you? My son, my youngest son, and my oldest son and myself. All right. So you all are just living off of your social security? Um, I did uh, help with the assistance with housing and my social security. And my oldest son is um, actually about to be sworn in the Marines. So he's going to be in the Marines. So. And yes, off, that's pretty much what I live off. Yes, ma'am. All right, you, you can't steal. It's against the law. And now they're asking for no contact with Walmart, so you will not be able to go to Walmart. Yes, ma'am. It's probably going to have to be Target or Sam's or Costco somewhere else, but no longer you're allowed to go to Walmart. You understand? Yes, and that means any Walmart. Yes, ma'am. Um, with regards to the $1,500 fine? Your Honor, um, she is indigent, as she just stated. I would ask if you could waive or hold that in abeyance. All right. The court will sentence you to two years in the state jail facility, suspended and probated for two years. There's a $1,500 fine that will be probated. Take in consideration 729758. There should be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Regular random UAs. Proof of employment or SSI within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider with minors. Court is going to order 180 hours of community service restitution. I'm going to order parenting classes. Once she's completed the parenting classes, the community service hours will be deemed satisfied. There's to be no contact with Walmart.
field visits one time per month for three months. Was Child Protective Services at all involved? We can do a MIC evaluation out of custody. Yes, ma'am. All right. And then the system is down, but normally for a state jail felony, the court costs will probably run about 300 to, I'll say, 380. Yes. Um, if for some reason she's unable to pay that, you'll just have to submit a letter. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Thank you. You're welcome. Did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. You understand? Yes, All right. We can go off the record. Here's the thing. When you want things, you got to work for them. If you don't have any money for it, you would probably be shocked. Sometimes you go up to somebody and you say, hey, I don't have any money. I'm on SSI or this is what's going on in my life. I'm trying to make a costume for my son. Somebody in Walmart probably would have said, oh, this is $10. Here you go. I'll pay for it. I've seen people do that all the time. But now what you've done is you set yourself back because now you have to do all of this. You're so stupid. And you don't understand. It appears that you don't understand. You, you, you're not allowed to steal. I would have ordered a course for you, but I'm going to give you the course now. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. Period. And then there's a criminal trespass. I believe that's the criminal trespass as it relates maybe to Walmart. Here's the thing. When you have something that's a criminal trespass and people tell you you're not allowed back here, don't go. If you do go to a location and the owner asks you to leave, leave. That's your two courses that I'm giving you. Do you understand? Okay. And this court to be successful on probation, communication is key. If there's an issue, let your probation officer know. If you feel as though they're not addressing it, you can always come back to the court. Yes, All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Who is Ramanique Quarles?